This is just a quick look at enumeration and random numbers, in case you didn't cover them very much in C++, as well as displaying the sprite frame and direction. Enumerations are a handy way of representing numbers as words. Numbers are a lot smaller in size than strings, so they're much better to use for a lot of things, like the direction the player is facing. Declaring enums looks like this. If you don't assign a number value to each one, it will be assigned an arbitrary number. The reason you may want to use numbers for directions are to tell where in the sprite sheet the image is. For example, we have this sprite sheet, and here direction 0 is down, 1 is up, 2 is left, and 3 is right. When we go to display the sprite, it will look like this. Here, we're multiplying the current frame by the width of the player to get the x-coordinate on the sprite sheet. Similarly, we're using the current direction, multiplied by the height, to get the y-coordinate on the sprite sheet. Random numbers. What are they used for? Well, a lot. In this game, our stick will get random coordinates every time it's picked up. In other games, it may generate an enemy's location or even be used for AI. Since random numbers on a computer aren't truly random, and have to have a seed number to generate the numbers from, seeding is usually done to the current time. If you seed to a constant number, you'll find that each time you run the program, you'll get the same random numbers in the same order. You may or may not want this, but it's up to you. Here's how you would seed to the time. You use the srand function, and use unsigned time with the null argument. Now to actually generate the random numbers, you will use the rand function. This will generate a random number between 0 and 9. If you want it from 1 to 10, add 1 to the end of the expression. The percent sign is for modulus, and it's a pretty interesting topic in and of itself. It's basically a way to get the remainder from the rand divided by 10. It also makes sure that if the value is above 10, it wraps around back to 0 and continues. For generating the random coordinates of the stick, it will be generally from 0 to the screen width and 0 to the screen height. However, you have to subtract this by the stick width and height. Otherwise, if its x coordinate is generated to the screen width, its very left side will be on the very edge of the screen, and so the entire thing will essentially be off the screen and impossible to see. Okay, that does it for enumerations and random numbers. Next up is bounding box collision detection.